morning guys it's a, another video coming to you from mason memories and we've got an excited one for you here he is we're going to bath du, 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 du. we're going to bath du, 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 du. we're going to bath is this how every intro is going to be now like you just trying to find a reason to sing i thought of that this morning when i got up i was like Ooh. the monster mash we're going to bath <laughs> So yeah, if you didn't get where we're going, we're going to bath for the weekend. Um, so this is a brand new place to us. We mm -hmm. have never ever been. Um, so it's been a while since we've gone to somewhere yeah. brand new. People have been talking about it for a while. My brother keeps going on saying how good it is. A couple of people at work, a couple of friends said it's really, really nice there. Yeah. So yeah, we're going to head there and do a lot of stuff. Very exciting time. So we're going Friday to Sunday. We're staying at the Bay Tree B and B. Um, it's got parking and it's the closest one into the city. We've got a few things booked. So today we've got the Roman baths, the Roman baths, <laughs> <laughs> um, which I've always, always wanted to go to. Yeah, um, very so I'm really excited about that. You know what we're like with our history. Yeah. Um, then we're going to look at the Royal Crescent at some point as well, because it really goes on yeah, like that. Yeah, probably tomorrow. Yeah. Um, and then on Sunday... One of the like the staples of this country that is definitely something that everybody should go and see at some point, and we haven't had a chance to see it yet. Yeah. So being as it's only about 40, 50 minutes outside of Bath, we thought we'd go and see it. So we're going to Stonehenge. Um, so we're going to have a look at loads of rocks. <laughs> yep. um, but no, we're, we're really into that kind of stuff. We're just very history based and we just love all periods of history as well. So we've always wanted to go. We've watched some programs on it because mm. we're old folks. Mm. Um, and we're really excited. And the weather is supposed to be really good but this really weekend. Nice. So mm. very excited. But now excited. we need to get some breakfast and we're yes. not doing the usual. No. no we're going to... We're gonna, Go to the Gloucester services, which we've been to quite a few times on on the way to holiday. You know what we're like. It's with got a really Gloucester. good kitchen, but we've never actually eaten there. We just grab stuff and left. Yeah. So we're going to wing it. We're going to go in there and try and get a table and sit and eat some food there. If not, we'll grab something while we're there and eat it in the car. Yeah. But either so, way, we're going to head to Gloucester and get some breakfast. So let's get going and let's uh, we'll see you at the services. Yeah, see you at the services. Hello again. Um, we haven't started on a very good footing. <laughs> Um, so first things first, I'd stepped in dog shit. <laughs> I haven't stepped in dog shit in years and just by the car, I didn't see it. So I had to run back in and try and get the dog shit off <laughs> shoe. Um, and then we've made, made, had to make a slight change of plans. Yeah. Um, unfortunately we're not going to go to Gloucester Services for breakfast. We're going to have to do the old standard Mackie D's breakfast. Uh, the reason being, uh, we've just noticed that one of the tyres at the front is worn and... Uh, I thought I'd ring up and see if I could get myself in, which I can get myself in to get two new tyres done, but it's about half nine. Mm. So it just means that we're just going to be too tight for time going down Gloucester Way uh, to the services and stopping there for breakfast. So unfortunately, we're not going to do that this time. We're going to have breakfast here, do our usual, yeah. and we'll do that next time because it's probably just better just to get the tyres done. Yeah, the, there's no tread. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like, right, no, we're going, uh, you know, quite a few miles, so we need to be safe. Um, so let's go and get... McDonald's breakfast. What you got? I got a happy meal. <laughs> I didn't really. They ran out of bags, so they gave us the happy meal box, which I haven't had since. Oh my god, I can't remember the last time I even saw a happy meal. I love a happy meal. So let's dive in and see what we got. No toy. There's no toy. I wanted a toy. But we do have our classic standard meal. It's, it's not cluster services, unfortunately. Oh god, it's hot. Is it? Oh god. Ah, I dropped it! Oh no! <laughs> Sorry if it's a bit juddery, I have forgotten to bring the tripod out of the car. But we have just checked in to Baytree House. Um, on Crescent Street in Bath. We paid, before we start, we paid £211 for the Friday night, Saturday night, so it's weekend prices. We get parking included, we're in the centre of Bath, which I think was reasonable, it's one of the cheapest that I've found. Um, so I'll give you a quick room tour. So we are in room one, which is on the ground floor. So you come in, got these beautiful, massive, windows we are on the main road but that doesn't bother us we live on a 
on a road anyway. Got the windows open because it's actually, dare I say it, quite warm. It's about 14 degrees, so we're loving life. So you come in, um, really nice bed, really high ceilings as well, and all the cornicing and the artwork. Got Putney Bridge there and the Royal Crescent, which we are going to tomorrow. So we've got a little radio, some little chairs. Adam's already on the Wi-Fi, you know him. Um, so yeah, lovely fireplace, lovely, lovely, lovely. Um, so it is a, a little room, but we're, you know, it's only to lay our heads. Decent sized TV, hopefully this TV will work, not like the one in York. Tea and coffee making facilities. Um, and in the little welcome letter from our host Louise, um, it says that in the fridge outside there's fresh milk and breakfast provisions, which we didn't pay for, we didn't pay for breakfast. We have a wardrobe. Oh, there's a fan in there if we get too hot and a, a luggage stand. As I say, uh, what a gorgeous fireplace. Very period. And a mirror to do your makeup. And then you've got a compact but spotlessly clean bathroom. Really spotless. It smells gorgeous in here, actually. I don't know what cleaner they've used, but it's uh, really nice smelling. The shitter. Um, and yeah, little sink, little mirror. Adam's already unpacked his stuff. I haven't. I'm just going to go straight out. But you're very like backlit. <laughs> oh. Yeah, you look like you're descending from the heavens. Going to now wander down to the Roman baths. We've got the, we've got our check in between quarter past two and half two. I think it's about a fifteen minute walk into town. So, Ooh, who be beeping? Who be beeping? Who be who be beeping? Be beeping? <laughs> so yeah, we're going to get out in this nice sunshine and have a wander around. Before we head down to Bath. Um, I forgot to do this before we left, but uh, if anybody's interested in the progress of the bar that we're doing uh, outside, the, the pallet bar that I've been doing with my brother, um, we've done the next bit. So you can watch this bit here. If you're not interested, skip ahead about two minutes and we'll crack on with Bath. But yeah, if you want to know how, how well that's going, just keep watching. Today is the next part of the bar. And this is Luke. Again. Again. Trying for a return. Um, and that, all those boards behind us today is going up on there. Felted. Yeah, felted. Trimmed Water. and then that's it. Yeah, done. After that, it's just down to me. Um, I've got a friend of ours off camera. He's uh, in his ear. We had, so a bit, we had a bit out from bit some out, muscle, he, yeah, Tom. Which we really appreciate. And he'd be repaid with oh, he'd cocktail, dying, cocktails, probably. He's dying to be in the camera. Turn around. <laughs> there he is. Give, give me six, give me six. Yeah. Are you not? <laughs> oh, no. <You> me. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> Well, he's got to York anyway, so yeah, he's you got to get on the camera at some point. So yeah, <laughs> so, yeah wrap it up today. That's yeah, it. Done. To get it done. To get on it. Do we mean with me? I'm off. It's, me, it's me doing it with you. Let's let's be fair. It's not me the other way around. Shouldn't take too long. Nah. That trim, getting all that trim. 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 Twenty four hours a day, seven days a week. Trim. <laughs> Stop dipping your toe in the pool and do the fucking. The little barrel there as well. Yeah, yeah I, I think it looks cool with the barrel. Did you buy the, bar the barrel for the bar? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I bought it specifically for the bar. I'll clean up the top and everything. Yeah. Right, so that's it. Luke's done. Finished. Yeah. Very, very much appreciative of all the time and effort he's gone through to make this 
thing where we'll all get drunk. <laughs> to be honest. A spa? Yeah. I mean, most, most people build like gardens for like their kids and all this kind of stuff. Nah, nah, I want a bath so and get pissed. But that's what I want to do. <laughs> I can say it myself. <laughs> annoy, annoy the neighbours. <laughs> well, you'll probably see them again uh, on the next video, which will be York. York. So we'll pop back to York. 8th of April, yeah. Yeah. So yeah. With Tommy was here today. Yeah, so he'll be joining us. So yeah, we'll see him then. Yeah. Peace. We've got a bit of time to kill before the Roman baths, haven't we? And we're thinking of going for breakfast there tomorrow. I didn't know they did breakfast. No, but now we do. Very old compared to what architecture is around Bath, that's all Georgian. We're going to go in, it's designed for public bathing and you can actually have a look at the baths itself and then there's a museum as well, so we've never done it, we're excited, so let's go. Let's get it on.
I don't know if you'll be able to see it. I don't know if you can see, guys. The bubbling. That's not jacuzzi bubbling. That's from the earth. It just be it. <laughs> Think. Bit much. Bit much. It's good though, isn't it? It's is impressive. This, it's a shame you can't touch it, but I understand. Yeah. But you can't touch it. It's untreated. Yeah, so you don't want all people bacteria on yeah, you Your hands have destructive oils. I mean, I've seen people touch it. That's I have seen people touch it. They've lit the fires. Oh, uh, yeah, lit one of the fires is going. I don't know whether you to see it. There's one there as well. Oh, yeah, so there is. 
Yeah, this is very impressive. The Roman Baths. The Roman Baths. Oh, it's amazing. It's really, really good. I didn't expect, I mean, I knew it was going to be good, um, but I didn't expect it to be that good. It was, it, I didn't expect it to be as vast as it was. There was so yeah. much in there, like all I the mean, stuff they've un un uncovered, it's, and still certain things like functioning. Yeah. Like streamways and everything that's still functioning into the baths themselves. I mean, we we kind of rushed it. I think you could you could spend nearly half know, I mean, a day. We spent, we spent, I think we spent a reasonable amount of time there. But you we could didn't spend more, yeah. listen to all the things in our ears. Um, did a bit. We did most of it. But no, it is really really good. Really I would good. highly recommend. Highly recommend. Worth the price. Yes. Definitely a good little thing so to, just to, um, to enjoy. It's a lot of great history. If you love your history, yeah. it's just definitely the way to go. It's cheaper on a weekday than it is a weekend, so just note that. Um, it wasn't too busy. It was, no, it was, it was okay. Healthy, but it was fine. Yeah, but we've come on a Friday afternoon, so yeah. And I went to the gift shop. I'll, I'll, t I'll show you my wares later. So now I think we're just going to have a little bit of a wander and head back to the hotel and get ready for tonight. I thought those cookies look good. Wow. Mm. I realised they had that like, little streets like this. So where are we, historian? We're at Sally Lund's eating house. Um, so it's the oldest house in Bath. 1482, but she lived here in 1680. There is a museum, and you can go and get the famous buns. Now, I don't know what kind of buns they are, 
don't know if they're sweet or if they're savoury, but I think the cafe do like all different meals with those buns. Someone was hungry. I was hungry. So I was just popping through a little bakery called mm. Mrs. Potts. Mrs. Potts. And I got myself a chocolate chip cookie sandwich with white chocolate drizzle. Oh dear. I'm just going to go for a bite. Have you got any napkins? Nope. Is it? Mm. So we're all squeaky cream. Oh, that didn't come out. Stop, right. Stop that again. <laughs> 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 <Okay. I'm laughs> so we're all squeaky keely. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're, we're dressed. So we're all. Oh, oh. <laughs> <sighs> we good? <Are> you alright? <laughs> so, um, we're all squeaky clean. That's it. That's the one. <laughs> For the new world. Yes, yeah, spruced up and ready to rock the town. Yeah, so. Till about 10 pm when we get tired and go to sleep. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. Wow, well, we're not going to be too late because we've got a busy day tomorrow. But we are booked in to a place called Juno. Mm -hmm. um, and we're also booked in for cocktails at a place called The Dark Horse. Um, and The Dark Horse comes very highly rated. It's one of the best cocktail bars in the world in one Sorry. magazine. But uh, he will inform you when we get there. Yes, I think I'm going to start attempting to try and give you a little bit more information on places we go to eat and drink yeah so if i can get a little bit of information together to tell you just before we go in then i will do obviously if it's stupidly busy and there's loads of people around you probably won't yeah but we're, uh, I, we're not that confident I, i'm not i'm not going to say it's a definite but i'll wing it so we're gonna have a wander down now we might go for a drink beforehand because mm -hmm. we're a little bit early but we don't want to sit in the room it's a lovely evening it's mm. it's like it's summer yeah it's really weird so i utilize that and get an extra beverage in yeah so let's go for a little evening wander some food Drinky poos. What have you got? Uh, an empty belly. Oh. No, I mean, what are you getting then? No, I'm getting a cocktail and it's called penicillin. It's got rum and ginger and stuff in it. Ooh, I'm going uh, basic passion fruit martini. I always get that. But this is a nice place. Just stumbled across called Vino Vino. Have a cheeky cocktail. Nice. Ooh. 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 <laughs> That's strong. Well, it's called penicillin. What's it strong of though? Whiskey. Everything. <laughs> It's just really strong. Yeah, nice little aperitif. Aperitif. Hey, what? Hey, what? I'm gonna go dunk it. Oh no! <laughs> what is it? <laughs> it's like an orange and ginger sweet thing. Oh, Jindy, don't like that really. Right, the place we're about to go into is called Juno's. Um, it's a real kind of like chilled vibe kind of thing. They do like beer, craft beer, cocktails, the burgers and loaded fries and their famous pizzas. And they also got a 2020 Traveler's Guide Award on TripAdvisor as well. So we're psyched to go into this. I'm looking forward to it. Florence and the Machine. 
and then what? The Illuminati burger. Illuminati burger. Are you ready for some grub? Is the Florence and meat machine. She be thick. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know bar and kitchen? Kitchen. Kitchen. I, kitchen. Can't, I can't speak Shrugging today. Had a few beers. I know, and uh, I've got like a salivary yeah. gland, like going haywire at the moment. Yeah. A flare up. Yeah. Um. So I had the uh, Illuminati burger. <laughs> And I had the Florence and the Meat Sheen pizza. Oh, we love a good pun. Love, love a good pun. Um, really decent burger. Yeah, like the really pizza. Really thick. Yeah. Um, juicy. Ju very juicy. Um, I'd say it's a, it was a little under seasoned, but I think it's because I like a lot of salt. Chips were fabulous. Right amount of seasoning. Halima was lovely. I would give it a good five out of five. And the pizza for me, fresh. Really good ingredients. I even, really well done. Like, I even like, tried the dough. The dough like, was really well done. The oh, meat was really like had brisket on it, pepperoni, chicken, uh, bacon, loads of stringy cheese. The stringy cheese was really really nice. Um, yeah, I really really like that. I had a, a, a beer, this peach beer thing that was called like I think it was Ju Jubel or Jubel. Jubel. Jubel with peach. It was really nice as well. Uh, the vibe really really nice. Really really chilled. Yep. Five out of five. It was like um, uh, like a skater bar. But the music was like noughties R&B, which yeah. I loved. But it's not really my thing. But, didn't really but go it worked, with the skate theme. I think it worked all right with the vibe. Yeah. But it was a really chill vibe, it really was. And like I say, yeah, five nice out of five, people. I think the food was really good, the service was really quick, and just yeah, just felt comfortable. Great place to go to. I definitely recommend it if you want to get some food and a couple of beers. Martini. This is a punk star martini. Oh, it's, I sound like an MS lover. This, uh, this is a punk star martini. So it's got punk IPA, so it's got beer in it, seven day passion fruit vodka, passion fruit liqueur, and vanilla sugar. So it's beer and vodka. Oh my. to go into a thing called the Dark Horse. This is a really cool place from what we've seen online. Um, it was to voted top 10 best in the world by Tales of the Cocktail. Done with like local ingredients with like cocktails and loads of different stuff. Obviously the cocktails are the main thing that they do, which is what we're kind of going in for. It's like a really cool looking vibe. I'm, I'm really looking forward to it. So uh, yeah, let's do it. <laughs> Chair. The, the throne. 
you got little little doggies on there. It's cool place. Cool place. myself an Aurora and Midnight Oil. I said Midnight Owl. <laughs> it's nice, Midnight Oil. Wild well, Turkey Bourbon. Oh, it's something strong. Just blowing your head off. Is it really that strong? <laughs> Got myself an Aurora. <laughs> Why did your little eye go? It's still strong, but it's not. Had a lovely night. Yeah, it's been good, isn't it? Um, we've drank too much. Yeah, we've yeah. drank too much. Um, so we had good food, good drinks, good vibes all round. Good vibes, good vibes all round. Good vibes. Adam can't do that. I can't do that. I've got some weird thing with my little finger that won't let me. There you go. There we go. I can just about do it. Look at this little. little... Grab my good hair. <laughs> Dark horse. Yeah. Wow. Well, very highly recommend. Yeah, hundred percent. Um, like the cocktails are really good. There's only one that you didn't oh, like, but the rest of them were were banging. The service was awesome. The vibe was awesome. The decor was great. Our, it was um, like a little kind of speakeasy kind of feel to it. Yeah, it was so cool. Our server Charlie was so attentive. Yeah, and uh, and, it, and he complimented my t-shirt and then my phone case, which is the Rebel Alliance logo. <laughs> yeah, he did. I, like, I love it when I find a fellow geek amongst us and he kept topping up the water and it was cucumber water now i love cucumber water just one cocktail that was my fault though it was just pure alcohol you, t you take that chance when you do cocktails if you're trying something new and you're gonna go push the boat out and try something you haven't done before thing is I every now and then <laughs> you're gonna step it. on a grenade and it's not gonna go the way you think i drank it it cost cost 11 quid so <laughs> so it's midnight oil was the one you didn't like wasn't it it was just it was bourbon but it was all this different kind of alcohol and it was just so bitter. Mm. But the rest of them, banging. Yeah. The maitre d', he put us in his favourite seats, we were in our thrones. It was it was really nice, it was really, really worth nice. the booking. Um, it's only about, what, 20 oh. to 11? Yeah, like a bit <laughs> earlier than what we would usually do if we go out for night drinks. But like we've got a lot going on tomorrow yeah, and about 6 in the morning, so it is what it is. So yeah. like this is part one of Bath. All yeah. kind of done and dusted. Hope you've enjoyed. Um, yes, yeah, so like if you're thinking, oh, well, where's where's the bridge? Where's where's the river thing? Where's the Royal Crescent? Where's all of that stuff? That's coming in part two. Yeah, and so, more foodie and drinky items. Yes, so come make sure you keep well. a lookout for part two because it is coming. Um, so we hope you enjoyed this one. Uh, like and subscribe. Find us on all the socials. Find us on TikTok. Find us on Buy Me a Coffee as well. Yes. And uh, we hope you enjoyed this first part of Bath. We've, enjoyed We've really it. enjoyed it. We think we tried to place the kind of feel of Bath. Did it feel like Liverpool? Did it feel like York? Did it feel like Edinburgh that we've been to? Loads of other places we've been to in the past, and it does generally feel a city like, unto its own. Like yeah, it doesn't. It nice. feels like something new, and I, I'm glad that it feels new. I'm enjoying it. Yeah. I'm really enjoying it. So um, if we don't see you before, we'll see you after. Take care, guys. <laughs>